spiritual life on this earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches us the highest method, the Kuan Yin method, which will enable our souls to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. And in our daily life, Supreme Master Ching Hai reminds us to live a meaningful saint's life in purity and compassion. She shares with us the art of cooking vegetarian cuisine so that we may bring a warm and loving atmosphere to our families and friends. Vegetarian cuisine is not only nutritious, but also helps our consciousness to be in harmony with nature and filled with love for all beings in the universe. Si nous voulons apporter le paradis sur la terre, nous devons vivre comme les êtres du paradis. C'est-à-dire vivre dans fraction harmonieuse en respectant la liberté et le droit de vivre de chacun. Les cinq préceptes Et le régime végétarien ne sont pas vraiment obligatoires. Il s'agit seulement d'un style de vie juste et noble, celui d'un gentleman, d'un chat possédant compassion et grandeur, et dont l'amour inclut toutes les créatures. Étant l'être le plus élevé de toute la création, nous pouvons distribuer cette grâce en préservant la vie dans le monde où nous vivons. Et c'est là vraiment contribuer à la paix sur la terre. C'est cela l'amour, la gentillesse en action. Supreme Master Ching Hai encourages and promotes vegetarianism as the noble way of living. She personally designed the Alternative Living Flyer and launched a global campaign to share this peaceful and loving message to the world. If we want to truly lead a life of love thy neighbor, the neighbors, including our animal friends, especially they harm us in no way. They only beautify our life and they are loving, and they make our life more lively, colorful, and interesting. We should preserve them, watch them, love them, enjoy their presence. God has made it clear. He said, I made all the animals to befriend you and help you. Through her teachings, millions of people have become vegetarians or are changing their ways of thinking in regards to the sentient nature of our animal friends. With heartfelt gratitude, we sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for setting aside her precious time to share with us these wonderful vegetarian dishes and easy cooking tips. We invite you to join us on Between Master and Disciples for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai, featuring Ching Hai's goulash. Faithful lovers <laughs> of my show. <laughs> okay, we're going to make originally like Hungarian goulash, you know? Yes, but uh, I don't have all the ingredients. Number one, number two, I don't cook with potatoes anymore because it's a root. So we're going to have uh, Qinghai's goulash or goulash a la Qinghai, whatever you like, okay? <laughs> Now we don't have vegan beef either, yeah? You can have also the dry vegetarian texture, soya protein, or you can have vegan ham, yeah? All right. So we have here like 100% pure vegan ham, hmm? Okay.
Okay, I'm going to cut half of it. Okay. You know, my family is big, right? So. <laughs> half of this uh, vegan ham. Yep. And I will also have a cup of different soya texture. It's not the same like vegan beef chunk, but it would taste nice as well. We would just have a cup of this, no? Also texture, protein, but it's different. All right. And then half of the vegetarian ham, and we would dice it. Yeah. For the potatoes, I have diced pumpkins, yes, and also some diced zucchini. A quarter of this and a quarter of the bell peppers. Yes, make it simple. And then we have coriander, paprika, salt, and then <laughs> soya sauce. So I'm going to dice the vegetable first, eh? all together. We have already diced. Pumpkin, I'm going to dye some of the zucchini. Yes. If you don't have zucchini, you can put like green peas, yeah, sweet peas. We put all the uh, fruity veggie in there. You know how to dye it already, so I will be quick. Look good though, huh? Okay. We have to have more water first, eh? Here, sweetheart. Can you wash it for me? Yes, ma'am. Normally, I walk alone. <laughs> but you are good help. It's good. Okay. We dice like two zucchini and uh, two cup of uh, diced pumpkin. That would be just good. I'm going to boil the water. Okay. Even if you boil the water, I think it's better you use filter one. Hmm? I have a very big family, so I put like one liter in there. <laughs> we can always put more liter, eh? And the cup of the uh, texture of soya protein, we soak it in the water. At least to wash it, eh? Mm. Because it's going to be cooked together, so it doesn't have to be very soft. Just wash it a little bit in case it's some dust or something. And rinse the water out. Yeah, and we'll leave it there. And we're going to cook together with the soup. Yeah. Okay. Now the water is boiling. Meanwhile, we can continue to dice the vegetables and the uh, vegan ham as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to dice the ham. This is similar size. The gula soup is supposed to be smooth, so not too chunky. All right. Okay, we dice them. Just small size. And you leave them aside. Yeah. You don't put them together with the uh, vegetable. You can put them together with the uh, texture, soy protein, and we put them in after the vegetable has been brewing for a while, like 15 minutes because if you put the ham in there together with vegetable, it would taste like nothing after a while. Look at this, the vegan ham is already very tasty. So we want to put it in maybe five minutes before serving, that would be fine. It's always good to cook with your partner or your friend, your boyfriend or your son, your daughter, just to get them used to with the uh, and style. So in case you're not home, they can cook for themselves. And later they can be independent as well, hey? Also, it strengthens your relationship. You see, take half of the uh, red pepper and also dice it, yeah? If you don't have uh, red pepper, green pepper, okay, yellow pepper, okay. <laughs> anything a la Ching Hai, you can cook with anything. That's the rule. Because she cooks with anything she has in the fridge. But
for the basic, you must know. And half of the uh, green bell pepper. This is different, your soup. And if you don't feel it's uh, deep enough, you can add a little bit of apple juice or apple itself, you know already, and pear, yeah? I told you the trick, man, to make a nice bouillon. You don't even need vegetable bouillon if you have enough vegetable. Okay, now the water is boiled. Yes. I'm going to put all this vegetable in the pot. Okay? There we are. Put there. Yeah, let it cook. Let it cook well, hey? Like uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes, huh? Oh, wow. Beautiful. You can put in a little bit of salt already. Like uh, half a tablespoon salt, yeah? In there. Of course, you have to taste, depends on how much water you put and how big your soup is. Yeah? Taste is the way you want it. If it's not deep enough, add more salt or soy sauce and maggi or just salt will be enough. All right, here we are. We don't even need maggi today, just salt would be enough. Try it. Okay, now we prepare the dumpling to go in the soup. Okay? I have cooking spoon. I put like six cooking spoon of uh, flour. You can have all purpose or plain or you know country bread flour. It doesn't matter. Okay, more or less like that. Six cooking spoon, and then mix with water to form a dough. Remember I told you if you're allergic to dust or flour, you must wear the mask, yeah? Or try to avoid direct breathing into the flour. Some people are allergic to dust, yeah, and when the flour comes to the nose, it acts like dust, so they will be sneezing or running nose. pain and all that, so it's better be careful. Okay. See, it's forming the dough already, huh? Mm. Yes. Now we're going to drop it <laughs> in the cooking pot of soup. This boy is going to just drop it in. You can use a small teaspoon or your hand, yeah? Just drop in like this. Simple, eh? Okay? You will cook. <laughs> just use any size. A little, don't make it too big. I'm making it simple, okay? I don't even wet my hand. Don't mess my hand even. Look at this, okay? Ah, good. Good boy. Good boy, good girl. Make it simple. You can have any traditional cooking from any country and uh, improvise it, make it into your own, yeah? Because you can't always have all the imported stuff from that special country. So it's okay to have fun. <laughs> to improvise and to invent your own cooking. That's fun. Okay? If you have the real thing from uh, that real country, then it's fine. If not, just have fun. I'll let your brother do this a little bit. You just nip a little bit with the thing like that, yes. yeah? And then just drop it in the boiling water. Uh -huh. See how it goes? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, try it. I'll try it. A little smaller. Okay. You should know it. You're Hungarian. <laughs> we do this with spoons. With I'll then do spoons. it with a spoon. Okay. Okay, do it with a spoon. It's just quicker with a chopstick. But you do it the way you do. It's fine, as long as it's in there and it's cooked. Oh. 
I think chopstick is quicker. So I just use a chopstick, nip a little bit like this, drop it in, simple and quick. See how quick it is? Yeah, with a spoon, take too long. See this? Gone. This? Gone. <laughs> See? We busy people. Right. Just nip a little, drop it in the hot water, dip the chopstick in as well. And it will just gone away from the chopstick. Good. Quick. Okay. Maybe you can try that with a spoon and dip it in hot water quick. And it's also gone. Look. You see? The trick is to dip it in hot water quick. And then the flour will just slide away from your spoon. That's quicker than what he did. See? Traditional is good, but we can improvise. Look how quick it is. Yeah, brother? Yes, master. See that? Yes. See? Now you try. You just use a spoon like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Nip it like this, mm -hmm. see? Yes. And drop it in the hot water, and then the hot water will take away the dough. See that? <laughs> it's yes. gone in no time. No need to squeeze it in here, okay. yeah? All right, try. This will be a little bit smaller. There, see? You see yes. how it goes? Easier. Smaller, smaller. Yeah, yeah. Half a teaspoon has been half a flat teaspoon. That's enough, gorgeous. No matter shape, just put that in. You see how quick it is? Yes. See? <laughs> it really goes. Yeah. We cook similar in Chinese also. Like this. Yeah, it doesn't matter actually. You will cook. And don't put your hand too near the pot, it will burn you. See how quick it is, huh? Mm-hmm. Much more quicker. Yeah, it just go inside the hot water, see? It won't stick because the hot water take it away. Mm -hmm. Just snip it on, yes. Like that, okay. Be patient with your son, your daughter, or your partner because maybe they're not used to it, but they'll learn. Practice make a master, you know that, right? You see, you take some of the hot water from your pot and uh, wash the leftover dough in your bowl. See, like this, you don't waste your food. Also, you don't have to wash too much because it will not stick anymore. It will be almost gone, and then the washing will be easier, either for your machine or for yourself. All right, just take it all off and the spoon can dip into the hot water like that, wash it up, right? Now we put it in. See, the bowl almost clean. Now I'm going to put uh, a little bit of the maggi, but it's not obligatory. I just like the maggi taste and the soya test. And then we have to put a couple of uh, tablespoon of uh, paprika. If you have Hungarian paprika, it's good. If you don't have, just use the sweet paprika. Okay. And then it will look red and nice. It's just like Hungarian goulash. Okay. If you have a big pot, then of course you put more paprika. If small pot, then Two or three spoons, depends on what you like. If it's not red enough, you put more paprika. That's the secret. <laughs> Very simple. You can cook long time, like half an hour, or you can cook 20 or 15, 20 minutes even. If you want your vegetable very tender, then you cook longer. If you want them uh, just uh, crunchy, and you don't have to cook that long. Yes. I put a lot of paprika in here. No measurement because I like paprika in this soup. Yeah, okay. Because I put two liters of water and more even in my pot because it's a big pot. You can see. Wow, nice. Very good already. I think I need a little bit more salt because it's a big pot. 
Okay. And for spice, to make it a nicer taste, you can, of course, put the thing that you like, like onion and stuff, but I don't put. So I'm going to um, add in coriander, yeah? You can put in one tablespoon coriander seed powder. And my big part, I put two tablespoons, more or less, okay? Wow, it cooked very nicely. Right. Okay, now we're going to add in the vegan ham because in five minutes I can serve it already. The veggie ham is good, good. And together with the uh, texture of soya protein, hmm? there we are. Wow. Have a look, huh? Your brother, here. <laughs> Does it look good already? Yes. yes. Maybe a little bit more paprika here. Yeah. It smells good. <laughs> yes, okay. And then we also put in like two tablespoons of ground black pepper because it's a big pot. No? Can put three either. I put two first. I don't like it. I put three. You see, I don't want you to cook like a dictionary. I want you to cook with intuition and with your personal taste. And you taste it, you don't like it, you add more of this, more of that. Depends if you like it sharper, you put more black pepper. If you like it more paprika taste, you add more paprika. Yeah? And taste it always. Otherwise, you just uh, look up in the uh, internet or in the book and cook exactly the way they told you, then it will be just fine also. Oh, wow, it tastes good already. <laughs> I like it very much. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. <laughs> if it's not tasty enough for you, you can add in a little bit of uh, mushroom seasoning, okay? If you want your soup a little thickened, instead of just liquid, you add in like two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch or sticky rice flour, whatever you have there. If not, you can just use ordinary wheat flour. You know, the one they make bread with. And two tablespoons, yeah? And then uh, a little filter water. Yeah, to mix it. Mix it into liquid so that it doesn't lump in your soup. That's the only reason. When I said two tablespoons, you can be flexible, okay? Just cook the whole soup. <laughs> and add in whatever you like for your taste. It's very simple. Gula soup is for the normal people, and they just mostly cook whatever vegetable they have at hand, and the main point is some protein in it. Okay, now I'm going to put this liquid mixture of uh, sticky rice flour because I don't have cornstarch in my cupboard at the moment. So I just use sticky rice flour. Wow. Then it thickens your soup a little bit, okay? okay? Give a little bit substance. Oh, it's so nice. Wow. It's wonderful. I like it so much. Mmm. Just nice and bright. Okay. Don't have to let it boil a lot. Just let it simmer. Like one third of the heat. After it boils, you simmer it. As long as you like. Mm -hmm. If you cook it long, then the vegetable flavor will all come out and make your soup taste deeper. If you cook it quick, then you have a fresh, crunchy vegetable. Either way has advantages. So it's up to you, all right? It's done now. So I'm gonna call my people and we will eat together. So just right. This is a very big pot that I have. 
So I put three tablespoons of sticky rice flour or cornstarch. But if you have a smaller pot, then you put less. You know already, yeah? Okay. Come here, guys. Thank you. Wow. It's a gulas, yeah? Oh, wow. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next one, please. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Careful, okay? Who's next? Eat with the bread. Yeah. Really good pasta. <laughs> very nice pasta. <laughs> Is it like gula soup? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. How you say good in Hungarian? Yo, not yo yo. Yo. Yo, not yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> not yo, yo. <laughs> Again? What? Not yo fino. Not yo fino? Not yo yo. Yo yo. That I can say, that sounds like yo-yo. <laughs> okay, yo-yo. <laughs> Thank you, master. It's like the real goulash master, just better. <laughs> yes. No. yes, it's really much, much better. Much better? Yes. How can it be? More spicy. Yeah. 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 Yes. So much love. Yes. <laughs> you can taste the love in there? <laughs> wow, you're really sensitive. I try it. Is it good, really? Huh? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. Mm. Wow. When it's uh, cold outside, huh? Mm. And then you just eat this inside. Is it too spicy or it's just nice? I like That's it really. Spicy. It's really yeah. nice. You like it. Mm. But the Hungarian, they don't cook it spicy? Sometimes they do. It depends. Mm -hmm. Many different types of pleasure. Oh, many different types? Yes, some they like hot, some they like spicy. Mm -hmm. So, like well, what type it is? It's like hot time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very spicy. It's good because it keeps warm. It's yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's winter. Really good, yeah. It's still winter here, right? Yes. <laughs> so, you have been at Hungarian? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I can pass the test. The <laughs> National Gula Soup Test, huh? <laughs> A little piece of gold. No, okay, thank you. I feel very proud <laughs> to be accepted as a soup cooker for Hungarian gulash. <laughs> very great accomplishment. Thank you for being with us today for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai. Up next is Good People Good Works right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. May you continue to enjoy many more compassionate meals with loved ones.